governor, district governor, district 920, district governor, Ms. Shelley Kukabai, assistant district governor, Julian Ujjayi, president Ming Chen, vice president Ujjayi, members of the Rotary Club of the Post Peace, vice president Shyam Sibar, and uh, colleagues, educators, and students. Uh, uh, it is indeed a honor uh, to welcome this morning the district governor for the district 9220, uh, who is from Madagascar, but she is fully conversant with English and French and Hindi, and also so we have a big choice of languages that we can use in the presence. And uh, I am very thankful to the schools, the rectors, the students who have come here. One thing that, that we noticed is when you came two years ago, they were small, still small. And now that uh, two years, three years have gone by, you were in grade 9, probably you are in grade 10, uh, 11 or 12 now. And you were much bigger than when you started. Huh? So the, the children who take part in this competition, they are from grade 9, which is the third year of the secondary school uh, after the six years of primary school. So the code, it is, we call it the code craft competition. Uh, it is a coding competition because we felt that uh, now uh, we have to do much more than just teaching languages and mathematics. So coding, we have tried to bring coding into secondary schools with grade nine, and now we are trying to take it to primary schools also. And this uh, has to do mostly with developing computational thinking in secondary schools among these grade nine students and this initiative developed by the Center for Open and Distance Learning of MIE, which is headed, uh, this project is headed by Dr. Avinash Kujara, with a team of resource persons. I think we have them here, Mr. Guli, Mr. Lachumar, uh, Mongel Meunier, Shambis, where uh, she's around. And of course, the financial uh, support of Rotary Cover Port Risk is really, without which we could not have done this project. This, co this coding competition is usually in two phases. Usually we have we have an invitation to all schools in Mauritius, and we usually have around 500 students who take part. And it's interesting to see how all of them come with their own laptops, and we have around 500 students working in a building at one point in time. And we have a preliminary uh, phase, and then the second phase where we, where we choose around 30 participants, 30 schools, after which to come for the, for the, for the final phase. The first edition was held in 2016, and then <clears throat> usually they had to develop a digital storytelling. We used uh, Scratch uh, as, as, the, as the coding uh, language, and the coding language Scratch, which we initiated the schools to use. And uh, <clears throat> the winner of the first edition was an all-girls team from the uh, MGSS, Mahatma Gandhi State Secondary Schools, I think they are here, uh, I'm mistaken, uh, uh, yeah. so The second edition was held in 2017, it was about gamification, and uh, <clears throat> this was uh, won by the Royal College uh, Cupid, which is a boys' school. The 2018 edition was in the context of the 50th Independence Anniversary of Mauritius, where the students had to do a story having to do with the independence. And uh, we had the support of the National Archives, uh, the National Library, the Hat Mahamat Magan Institute, the Mauritius Broadcasting Corporation, and obviously, Rotary of Waterways. And the winning team was from Bakwa SSS. In 2019, we are moving deeper into coding by inviting students to use robots. You will get a demonstration afterwards. And then this is what we're trying to add a new flavor for teaching of maths and technology engineering uh, in, in schools. And we're extremely pleased that the Rotary Club of Port Louis has been uh, our associates right from the beginning. In fact, it, is a, it was a costly venture. But uh, thanks to, it is not so much of a costly venture, but uh, Rotary Club of Port Louis decided to allocate a certain amount of money and give a good price uh, which is really uh, a, a big incentive for students to, to participate in this, in, this, in this project. 
And I have to tell you that uh, we are thinking in terms of adding new elements to it and considering uh, how we can look at gifted and talented students also. This would be something which we are going to start thinking about as from this year. And I have to tell you that the Honorable Minister of Education has been personally uh, very pleased with this project because it's in line with her vision also. And every time we have had the prize, uh, prize giving competition, she has been personally present here. And, uh, <clears throat> and, and therefore, uh, we have the blessing of the ministry, we have the support of schools, and obviously, we have to be very thankful to Rotary Club of Fort Wiss for doing this. And uh, uh, last year, we had a good coverage, and I think now people are understanding and are giving importance to this new element of coding, which is very important. Many countries now uh, are going towards it. And, and probably for us, it might be a big thing, but for young people, they learn very quickly. We are also uh, doing other similar projects with British Council uh, uh, with, using micro bits. Uh, I think probably we can, we, can, we can merge that also together with our competition in the future. So I am very uh, thankful to the staff of MIE, the schools, the educators, and obviously the Rotary Club of Portis for being so helpful in believing in us and doing things without whom it would not, it would not have been possible. So I will leave it to the president to give you, to say a few words. Afterwards, we'll request the students to, to display, Mr. Ujua and his team, display a few of the work that we have done. And, and in the last, we will have the governor who will give us an impression and uh, blessings, of course, for what we're trying to do along with the Rotary Club of Portis. And I have to be very thankful to President, Past President Xiao he is the person who is the link person. I think as much I is supportive, I understand that he must have, have used all his talent for marketing and all to convince the sponsors, <laughs> to convince Rotary Club of Port Luis. I think the right person, the right ambassador, the right link person, who, with, with, the, with, with whose support I think we have been able to do this, this project. So thank you very much.